triple murder, a police involved shooting, a devastating fire. That Baltimore County community is still reeling from the terror and chaos early Saturday morning as police continue investigating. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us from Baltimore County Police Headquarters. Abby, what's the latest from today? Neighbors were mourning the loss of loved ones and picking up the pieces after three people were killed and a fire destroyed two homes in Woodlawn Saturday. Everything is gone, you know. Shushil Chedri searches through the rubble. What's left of his Woodlawn home after police say his neighbor caused a fire that destroyed both townhouses. When we are thinking about what we do, what should I do, what should we do for the uh, future, you know. But the fire was just part of what played out on Mori Road early Saturday morning. I think the intention was to lure everybody with the big sound, like fire. When I saw the fire, like I, I thought like everybody should be out, and then uh, we just started shooting everybody. Like. Baltimore County police say a neighbor shot and killed three people and injured another before police made it on scene and found the suspect, 56-year-old Everton Brown, with a gun in the parking lot. They say when Brown refused orders to drop his gun, an officer shot him. Police say four officers total fired at him until they were able to safely take him into custody. He later died. Neighbors say they didn't know him well, but they knew enough to avoid him. I wouldn't call him insane, but he was a little off. Like, you know, you don't want to see him in his eyes, basically. You know, you, want, you just cross the street like when, he, when you, saw, you, saw, you saw him. Among the victims, Chedri's brother, 24-year-old Sigar Gamir, seen here on an online Nepali community news site. Originally from Nepal, he graduated from college in South Carolina and had just moved to Maryland last week to meet his family here. He already uh, passed his graduates is is graduate and he's looking for a job it's unfortunate that <laughs> we will never meet him again 41 year old Ismael Quintanilla and 37 year old Sarah Alacote were also killed police say the suspect forced his way into their home according to a gofundme started by family they leave behind a 17 year old son uh, but i'm really sorry for the lives uh, uh who lost their lives, they were very nice people. Officials say the fire was gas fed and everything is still under investigation. They did find homemade explosive devices in the suspect's car. In Towson, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. Just